Good evening. I'd like to call to order the Village of Gurney Planning and Zoning Board for this Wednesday, September 16, 2020. Do we have roll call, please? Here. 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 Josh? Here. I can barely hear that. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Louder, Joanne. Can we have, jo can we have Joanne the portable mic? Uh, the petitioner has it. Just louder, Joanne. She's not here. Present. Uh, we do have a quorum. If everyone would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'd just like to state for the record, in accordance with the governor's um, modified rules regarding public meetings, um, we do have participants that are um, attending this meeting remotely. Uh, next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from September 2nd, 2020. I do have one minor change. Um, on page three, um, about a, a quarter of the way down, it says, Mr. Sula noted that there is no one from the public. And then at the end of that paragraph, he stated that it would then be appropriate for, and then the, the part about someone making a motion on this matter is missing. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yep. Okay. Does anybody else have any changes? If not, a motion to approve as amended would be in order. So moved. Move to approve as amended. Second. Okay. Technically, I think Brian Bow got there first and second by Mr. Path. Any discussion? If not, roll call, please. I can do roll call, and just in case they can't hear. Okay. Garrity? Aye. Sula? Aye. Path? Aye. Pasek? Aye. Bow? Aye. Nordentoff? Aye. Motion carries. We went out of order. Uh, I used to go on first. I'm like, wait, she skipped it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is a public hearing for Grafo tattoo, Tattoos, uh, proposed to be located at 4606 Old Grand Avenue. Staff report? Yep. Carla Reyes is seeking a special use permit to allow the establishment and operation of a body modification establishment or tattoo shop at 4606 Old Grand Avenue. The shop will also provide microblading and eyebrow tattooing technique. The subject property is zoned C2 Community Commercial. Many office service uses exist within the immediate vicinity, including general office service uses uh, with, sorry, within the same 4606 Old Grand Building, the fire station, Lift 31 Salon and Spa, Dada's Cleaners, uh, Gurney Community Church, and more. As proposed, the tattoo shop meets the village's licensing separation requirements for body modification establishments. As with all special use permit requests, the Planning and Zoning Board will make a recommendation that will be forwarded to the Village Board for their determination, and the applicant is in attendance in person tonight. Thank you, Clara. Um, at this time, I would request anybody from the petitioner or members of the general public who intend to give testimony, ask questions, to please stand and be sworn in by the acting village attorney. You, uh, you need to stand and be sworn in. And raise your right hand if you would, please. Do you, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, thank you. At this time, I'll turn the floor over to you to um, Add any comments you'd like to make? Um, you, you need to keep that microphone up close. Okay. Um, no extra comments. Uh, just thank you for being here and letting me present uh, my project to you guys. Okay. Um, any comments or questions from members of the Planning and Zoning Board? I'll start with, uh, with the people of Remote. Josh, do you have any questions? Uh, no, not at this time. Okay. Dave? 
Uh, no, I have no questions. Uh, I believe, you know, in, in reviewing the materials that were provided to us, it looks as though, um, you know, all the necessary uh, licensing, you know, and uh, separation has occurred. Um, it seems like a very um, appropriate use uh, from a from a density or use standpoint, considering the area and considering the other uses that are around it. And so, um, I think that it looks like it uh, it meets the standards as I as I see it right now. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pail. Mr. Garrity. No questions. Mr. Bow. is compatible with any surrounding uses there. I mean, we've got two parks in the area, a church, Dairy Queen, fire department. Personally, I don't think this is compatible. Okay. Um, can, can you comment a little bit about, I didn't see anything, at least I didn't, I don't think I saw anything in the packet about Signage, is there any signage contemplated? About, about what, I'm sorry? S signage. Signage? Mm -hmm. um, which means, like, what do you mean? Um, Are you proposing any signs for the business on the exterior? Um, yeah, I, I wanted to have uh, maybe, like, outside the windows, just um, the name of the establishment, Graffa Tattoos, but it would be all tinted windows where it would be, like, a private studio. So it won't be like people can just come in. It would be something private that would have to be, that they would have to like set up an appointment to even come into the to the studio. So if anything, like a small sticker, just so they can identify the place, but it would be all tinted windows on the outside. Any any signage would have to go through our permitting process okay. and meet code. Okay. And my understanding is based on the materials in the packet that um, the proposed use meets all setback and distancing requirements that, that were envisioned by the, the zoning ordinance, correct? Um, the licensing ordinance has separation requirements and it does oh, meet okay. those separation requirements. They would have to go through the remaining um, licensing process with the police department should they get the special use permit. Okay. And um, at this time, I'm going to open the floor to the public. Is there anybody? participating by Zoom? No. Oh. Okay, and for the record, there's nobody here from the general public, so I'm gonna close the floor to the public. Um, okay, um, any additional? Yes, Mr. Gary. I didn't have any questions, but just to comment, to echo Commissioner Baugh, I don't uh, feel that this is an appropriate use to issue a special use permits or historical center uh, of the village, family recreation, um, to me, it doesn't fit, so um, I can't support it. Okay. And have there been any um, comments from surrounding property or, or no. uh, easy for me to say, surrounding property owners either for or against the project? We have not received any comments or calls. Okay. Um, uh, Josh or Dave, do you have any additional questions or comments? None from my end. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. None, none from my end. I, I, I don't see how it's not, not compatible. Um, you know, it, contrary to the other commissioners, uh, I, I, I think it would be okay on, on my end. You know, that meets all the requirements. Um, I, I would, you know, like to hear more from the other commissioners of why it's not compatible. Um, uh, you know, because I think, uh, because it's a tattoo shop, does that make it not com compatible or studio? Uh, I, I think tattoos are very commonplace today, and I don't think that would be out of place to be, you know, it, it, it follows all of our, our ordinances. It, it just doesn't seem like it'd be out of place to me. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Mr. Path, any additional comments? I, I would probably be um, more concerned if it was open to the general public and anybody could walk in can only be two people in there at a time. They have to come in by appointment. Acts, I know people who um, get their eyebrows tattooed because they have to. Um, alopecia. So, um, you know, I, I don't really have a problem with it, but I, I just don't see it. Uh, they're usually generally tucked away. That building, I hardly ever notice. Um, it's 
back from the road quite a bit. So really, I don't really have a problem with it. Okay. Uh, we we'll just add, you know, I mean. Excuse me, just one second. This is Ms. Arias wanted to say okay, something. Yeah, I was wondering if I could make a comment about that. Um, yes, it, it would all be private, and that's exactly one of the reasons why I wanted to open it, um, open my own studio, because I do have a lot of people that look for me um, to get their permanent makeup done, or especially eyebrows, because of um, cancer, sur uh, cancer survivors, or um, people, like you said, for alopecia that. Um, don't have their eyebrows and they lose their hair. Um, and I wanted it to be an actual tattoo studio because um, we also, well, I also know people that um, they have um, vit vit vitiligo, that it's a skin condition where it turns another color. So they look for the tattoo to cover those spots and make them feel better about themselves and their appearance. So that's why it would be very private because I know that I have, um, well, that I know people that um, are very shy about these conditions and they <coughs> want to have something private and come in where, you know, at a tattoo, an open tattoo shop, there's a lot more people. And this place would just be more of like very private and where they can just come in and feel comfortable and be able to give them the service. Okay, thank you. All right, Tim. So um, I, I, I don't think that there's anything that would prohibit um, the applicant to, you know, doing more than an appointment, correct? Where, I mean, is it limited? Well, we could put it in as a condition, and we do have it in as a condition for our other um, tattoo shop, so um, that they can't do walk-ins, that it has to be by appointment only. So, you know, my main objection, and to answer some of the points that were brought up by other commissioners, is what is our vision for the downtown uh, or the Grand old Grand Avenue corridor? Um, we're tearing down buildings. We're making it a park. We're encouraging family use uh, as it's a floodplain, uh, open space. Um, businesses are moving away from there. Um, children coming, playing, there's a school nearby, there's a fire department. I, to me, I just don't see it as being something that's compatible with where we're heading. When we take a look and we see whether or not an apartment complex is the right area, or is the right uh, 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 sort of uh, endeavor that we should be taking, is it gonna fit on such and such a, a land, or we, we've talked previously about whether or not uh, doing some sort of farming on the uh, or, or gardening on the uh, baseball property uh, at the American Legion. We were concerned about that, yet we have, uh, and, and I, I believe we voted no on that, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, here we are, we're going to do something where the vision is open space, kind of family, and all of a sudden we're going to go ahead and, and we have no problem with a tattoo parlor. Um, I would have no problem with a tattoo parlor if it were located somewhere else, tucked somewhere else in the in the village, but I just find it incompatible. Um, you know, we're asking for a special use, right? We're putting up our hands saying, I need a special use permit for this. Um, so it needs to come before the board for a special use. I just, I don't see it as compatible. Okay. 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 From my perspective, it, it meets all the setbacks. Um, and distancing that are envisioned in the underlying um, codes that govern this sort of thing. There's, there's been no objection raised by, by anyone. Um, I, I, I personally don't, don't have a problem with it. Um, I would like to ask the petitioner though, um, if she's agreeable to putting a condition on here that, um, that the, no other forms of body modification will occur um, on the premises. Such as, what do you no mean? Piercings or, I mean? No piercings or? No, no piercings. It will be tattoos. Tattoos and micro Traditional tattoos and, and makeup tattoos. And, yeah. and microblading only. Yes, okay. correct. And? Yes, it's uh, lip liner, eyeliners, microblading, 
Which so, is, so permanent makeup types? Yes, permanent okay. makeup in general. So tattoos and permanent makeup? Yes, traditional tattoos. And it's by appointment only and no more than two clients on the premises at, at a time? And yes, you're, correct. You're, you're agreeable agree. to all those conditions? Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? Okay, if, if not a, a, a motion um, to the village board, um, uh, including the um, the conditions would be appropriate at this point in time. Mr. Nordentoff, are you raising your hand? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, I move that we forward a favorable recommendation to the village board for the petition for special use permit to allow the establishment of a tattoo shop at 4606 Old Grand Avenue, and that the business will operate by appointment only, and the business will only offer tattooing um, and microblading as uh, as testified to this evening, and that it is in substantial um, uh, conformance with the uh, special use standards and uh, all other uh, appropriate village licensing, separation, and Illinois Department of Public Health standards. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Second by Mr. Paff. I just have a question, and I'm not sure who to direct it to in terms of microblading. Does, does that include what she talked about in terms of uh, permanent makeup? Is it, okay, I just, I just want to make sure. That yes, that's correct. Microblading is just the name of the style of the eyebrows, but it's um, eyebrow tattoo. Okay, um, Dave, would you be amenable to a, a change that includes uh, permanent makeup type tattoos? Yes, I would be fine with that being added. Okay, and you second, are you okay with yeah. that? Okay, yeah. all right, any other discussion on the motion? Okay, uh, roll call please. Garrity? No. Sula? Aye. Paff? Aye. Haysack? Aye. Bow? Nordentoff. Aye. Motion carries four to two. Uh, so that's a favorable recommendation to the village board. Um, Ms. Reyes, as you probably know, we recommend to the village board. The village board has, has final say and someone on staff will, will let you know uh, when the village board will be considering the matter. Uh, next scheduled meeting um, is scheduled to be October 7th. Our, do we envision a meeting? Yes. Yes, we do? Okay. I'm going to open the floor to public comment. If there's nobody here, I'm going to close the floor to public comment. Uh, a motion to adjourn would be in order. So, motion. M moved by Mr. Garrity, second by? Second. Second by Mr. Paff. Roll call, please. Garrity? Aye. Paff? Aye. Paysack? Aye. Bow? Aye. Nordentoff? Aye. Sue? Aye. Motion carries. Be safe, everyone, and see you in about three weeks, I guess that is. Three weeks?